and this is related. It's, this is not exactly a wax cylinder machine, but it's related to it. Here we have, um, instead of wax cylinders, we have celluloid cylinders. And the thing about these, the thing that's cool is, it's pretty much like how a record player works. There's um, grooves and dots and dashes all along these cylinders. And if we open up this cabinet here, we can see some of them. You're not supposed to touch them really um, on the outside. You can touch them by sticking your hands in here. And all along them, like how records are, they have the grooves on them. So you just swap them out, you know, how a record would. And there's a needle on here that will read the grooves on it and it will play it through how, you know how old gramophones have a horn? Well, here, it doesn't have a horn on the outside, it has a horn on the inside of the cabinet here. So what we can do is we can crank it up. And then we can flip the needle, release the spring. You know, it sounds a little worse for wear. It's really old, and it sounds like it's coming out of a tin can, but it still works. You know, this is an old Irish song. Did you say Irish song? Mm -hmm. Why Irish? Um, I'm not I want, sure. It's just, I want Scottish. This is what we call it. And it's, it's really cool. There's no electrical components at all within it. It's all mechanical. It's all analog. So all it really is is just a spring that loads the spinning thing, and it'll spin it. And the, the needle, the thick needle, will leave the screw. So that's kind of how it works. So, just turn it off, we push that button, raise up the needle, and over here we have something much more similar to, um, at least in terms of presentation, um, to a record player. And so the thing with this is you just um, crank it up again, like how we did over there, and then fold down the needle. And get this little thing here. Maybe you gotta crank it up a little bit more. It's a little finicky. There we go. There we go. It's a lot clearer than the other one. So, you know, modern. It's an old um, Western record. And the cool thing about this one is, this model specifically, is so it's also mechanical like that. It has the horn on the inside of the cabinet. So if you wanted to raise the volume, you'd have to open up the cabinet. Pretty small. Um, so you can fill the whole house with, you know, music. Um, the thing about these is, um, I looked at an old catalog uh, the other day, and um, the uh, the old catalog has that, you know, um, that version of the Amarola listed at um, about thirty dollars um, at that time period. This is from 1915. So adjusting for inflation. That would cost someone nowadays $900 for one of these Amarolas, which is a pretty significant amount of money. <laughs> so really, only the, the richer people, at least at this point in time, would have one of these. And it's probably a reason why um, you know, a good amount of these have survived to this day, is that richer people would have had them, they would have um, had them for much longer, and they likely would have kept them in good condition or have restored them over time. And um, with these things, um, things nowadays aren't built to last. Um, you know, a, a lot of planned obsolescence, a lot of um, one-use-only things. Uh, with these, back in the day, majority of things were built to last. You buy it once, and then you can go and order um, parts from the manufacturer and replace anything that might have broken or um, might need to be repaired. And that's the you know the the wonder of these things. So. Thank you very much. The thing also about the cabinet is that these pegs in here aren't um, part of the original cabinet. They've been installed there, so you can hold all these. Um, and there's a lot of um, uh, cylinders here. 
to switch out with this. So it's a song per one. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many minutes are on each? Um, each song that it plays, and it doesn't have to be a song, it can also be like a speech. Um, it ha is around four minutes, four to five minutes, um, and no longer than that. Um.